As part of the City of Lodi's Watershed Education Program, Lodi students were able to study the fall run Chinook salmon spawning process, which took place at the McCullamy River Fish Hatchery just below Comanche Dam, outside of Lodi. Students were able to watch the spawning process at the hatchery, and then several months later, were able to raise fish eggs in their classroom, which hatched out about six weeks later. Students brought those fry to the river and released them. The question is, what happened to the other six and a half million eggs that were harvested the previous fall? This video hopes to tell that story. along the path and we're going to come back to the shed where when you were here back in October and the fish were jumping up the ladder and their eggs were being harvested and fertilized. So this is the start of the journey and we're going to today really look at what happens, the difference between your eggs and fry that you released becomes smolt a month and a half later, and we're going to follow the smolt's journey today. Okay, we're back up here at the spawning facility, and you will remember from your trip in October where you saw the salmon coming up the ladders and into the holding tanks. And as you were here, you may have seen the uh, eggs being taken from the female and watching them be fertilized. And they will stay here from egg stage through album stage. Then they go into the troughs. And once they're past the fry stage, they will go out into the raceway and they will continue to grow and they'll stay there anywhere from four to six months and then they can go on. Once the fish begin to change to the smolt stage, they are ready to be released to sea. Today, four trucks will make the journey from the McCullamy River Fish Hatchery to Sherman Island in the San Joaquin Sacramento River Delta. Today's journey will be carrying 440,000 fish. Once the truck is filled with water, herding the fish becomes the next step. At the top of the raceway, the fish crowder is slowly driven down the raceway, crowding the fish towards the end, where they are then pumped up or sucked up into a long hose-like tube and into the tank. The fish displace the water. A pound of fish is equal to a pound of water. So for every pound of fish that is loaded onto the truck, a pound of water is coming out the other end of the hose. As the men work hard, not one fish is left behind. Once all four trucks have been loaded, the trucks begin their long journey from the McCullamy River fish hatchery across the San Joaquin Valley and over to Sherman Island. What's really interesting to think about as you are watching 440,000 smolt salmon being released from the hatchery trucks down the pipe into the net pens below, 25% of these fish, that's about one truckload, have unique markers in their heads, a wire with a number on it, that will stay with the fish for its life. Each one, all four trucks have their, the, all fish have their tail, their adipose tail cut so that when a fisher person, fisherman, fisherwoman, catches one of these salmon, they will have to cut off the head and turn it over to Department of Fish and Wildlife, who then returns the fish heads to a center in California where the data is collected, where they can look for the, the tag. And if they find the tag, it can tell scientists from which hatchery that fish came from, where it was raised. And it can also tell scientists where it was released. 
So not all of the 6.5 million salmon fish, the smolts, will be released at Sherman Island. Approximately 3 million will be released here in 2020. Another 3.5 million will be released directly into the ocean. I have really grown to appreciate all the work behind the scenes of the McCullumy River Fish Hatchery staff as they accomplish the two missions that they have set out to, to do. One is raising of uh, salmon to be released as mitigation for the loss of habitat in the river because the Comanche Dam was built. There was a long section of river that was no longer available to the fish, so the hatchery was built to make up for that loss. Their second mission is for the health of the oceans, the fish that they release off the piers of Santa Cruz and uh, Half Moon Bay and Baker Point. Those fish are intended to be um, caught by fishermen for sport, for, um, for money. And so I appreciate their work. I didn't realize there were two missions. I thought it was just uh, mitigation, but it's not. There's, um, there's two, they have two goals. And I really appreciate the, the time, the energy uh, of their work, and also their willingness to let people like us just get up close to watch what they do and answer all of our questions. And, um, and so I, I salute you. I hope you students will have learned something as well. These are wonderful careers to go into, uh, become a fishery biologist, go to college, study science, learn how to use math as part of your thinking, and um, love to be outdoors, love fish, and, and uh, hopefully we'll have a return from kids to these careers. The City of Lodi Watershed Education Program would like to remind all listeners that wherever you live, either near a river or across town from a river, that your streets, when it rains or when you overwater your garden or your landscape, that water drains potentially into a waterway, a river or a creek, and what's coming off the streets is not treated, it's not cleaned. So dirty runoff equals dirty river. So we would really appreciate that you folks take the time to keep your runoff clean. Nothing down the drain but rain is what they say. Be well.